Happy Friday. What's up, Mike? Happy Friday. We are filming this today. Oh, I don't have my phone out. Um, 3.42. January 14th at 3.42. Week two of the new year. 2022. Uh, yes, sir. Trends Talk episode two of 2022. Uh, what are we talking about today? Today we're going to be talking about uh, spring, summer 23 prints and graphics. So what we will be seeing in the market from a year from today. Okay, cool. For forecasting. Cool, so. cool. So uh, we're basically covering different print themes mm -hmm. and different concepts that Debbie may or may not show us in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So we know where they're gonna, where they see some of these prints and graphics and some themes. I picked right. three themes that uh, we will be seeing. So first one is the. I, I guess we're gonna call them looks. Looks. Yeah. Looks. Capsule collections. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Sweet. So the first one is Allclusive Clubhouse. So with growing interest in lo-fi sports during the lockdowns, take aesthetics from uptrending clubhouse looks to refresh casual sportswear, use lighthearted graphics as well as clubhouse crests with sports-inspired motifs such as rockets or balls alongside slogans of optimism and relaxation. First things first, how is lo-fi used here? So lo-fi is basically tennis, racquetball, pickleball, golf. But why is that called lo-fi? Because it's it's not like that's that's what that's what it's referred to as. I've heard of like lo-fi music and yeah. like lo-fi. It's so low fidelity is what it's obviously yeah, it's, yeah, it's but yeah. I think it's like low, kind of I, I guess kind of maintenance. I actually did some research and I was like, what the heck is lo-fi sports? And like, well, like lo-fi music is like almost like minimal and like it's minimal. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a baseline and then like just hear like right, right. noises here and there. Yeah, right. Or, or it's or it's like simple like okay, I mean. But when you think about golf and tennis, it's a one racket and it's a ball. So Yeah, it's but they're also very very expensive well, sports. Yeah, of course, you know. All right, well, okay, fine. Intr growing interest in low fi sports. So yeah. basically no frills like easy sports. Okay. Kind of your bougie. Right. Yeah, upper so, echelon type. So okay, so um, yeah, cool. Uh, it's a cool theme. Um, I'm glad very, very, that very preppy. Yeah, I'm glad it's kind of coming back in. But mm -hmm. it's um, you know, I feel like we kind of touched on this topic last year. Remember, With like rebel, our first... rebel rebel academia kind of thing. No, not really rebel academia. But when you really think about it, uh, remember how uh, we were talking about? I think in our um, fuck, what was the name of that the v series we did? Spotlight. Yeah. You know how we were talking about like Bad Birdie Golf yeah. and like, um, and how like Steph Curry was starting to headline like a golf wear yeah, for yeah. Under Armour and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like you kind of see like, what do you call it? Like clubhouse sports or like clubhouse sports aesthetics becoming a thing. The mainstream. Remember, I was like, there was a spell in which I was obsessed with golf polos yeah. because like as a category, because you kind of see the cultural impact of like, I love it, lo-fi sports, <laughs> and now we have a word for it, yeah. 100%. Well, yeah, I mean, and yeah. especially like golf was like one of the biggest uptrending sports right. during the pandemic. Right, and like it's, um, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know like last week we discussed a lot of like colors and different color stories yeah. and everything, and you know, um, and we, we kept kind of talking, like when we're, whenever we talk about color, we always see like the collegiate varsity type look becoming a thing again. Yep. And then all of a sudden, like you were also showing, fuck, what was that like last, uh, the last one with like the pinks and the spruces? What, what did you call that? Was that, that was, well, that was the core colors. No, or, no, or, no, oh, no, the spruces. That one the, the, was, last, the last subject. Yeah, what was it? That was called. Fuck, I don't um, know, Jeff. You know what? Like when you do it, like yeah. can you show like the last subject or something, like, like a photo or something? Right. I'll, it'll come back to me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but um, we'll um, yeah, we'll kind of show it. But it's this whole like preppy varsity, you know. This I guess I'm gonna call it the ethos. Mm -hmm. it, it's starting to come back in a big way, which is which is pretty cool because this was not cool for a second. I remember even like last year we were kind of talking about like after like Tom Brady won a Super Bowl and yeah. you know like the whole like very like white America culture, like the Sperry's and like the Yacht Party, mm -hmm. like, you know, like the whole preppy look, it's like, I feel it, I'm really feeling it. It's like, I feel like, I feel like America's walked away from that look for so long. It's, it's cool that it's kind of coming back. Yeah, the country club look is coming back. Yeah, right. Wearing wear the, the polo, the tip polo, right. wearing the, right. the sweater tied across the chest. Right, right, a lot of what, spruce. What do you mean though, like Tom Brady? Remember, like what, remember after like the Super Bowl, like um, after he won in Tampa, 
Yeah. Like last year, him and Gronk got just like super turned, and there were all these photos of him like having like yacht parties and everything. Oh. And then you kind of like saw him and his crew just like all together, and they were wearing Sperry's and short white shorts and like polos linen, linen, and linen t-shirts. Yeah, linen and... shirts and everything. And I would, I would just kind of like, you know, like that whole look is because like I feel like everyone always talks about how like like white America has no culture. And I, whenever someone I, I hear say that, I'm like, that is so not true. There is a culture, it, it, it really is. It's, it's the Sperry wearing, Uggs. Vineyard vines. You know, yeah, vineyard vines, uh, brunch, avocado toast, pressed juice, <laughs> like, you know, the, you know that whole thing, you know, like, it's, it's. So, AKA basic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it, I didn't say it, I, I didn't say that. I said it. Uh, yeah, 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 but like, no, but that whole aesthetic, it's it's a real aesthetic, it's a real thing, you know, like, yeah, definitely. there were businesses built on that aesthetic in the past, like, and, and even as I, like, as recent as, like, 2014, it was, like, a really big thing. I'm sure y'all owned a pair of Sperry's at some point, oh, yeah. you know? And so it's it's cool to see that kind of coming back. And it's, um, we we saw trickles of it like this year be, with like this huge demand for polos. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's going a little bit further too with all this. So um, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so yeah. like kind of like you said with the color wise, you know, yeah. a lot of that dark yeah. green, sure. a lot of like the pastel pinks, blues, right. that's right. gonna be a lot of colors right. A lot of this. pastel colors, yep. Also the primary colors, so sure. a lot of dark red, like just mm -hmm. saturated reds, blues, sure. greens. Sure, yeah. Um, and then as far as, you know, body-wise, I see it more in like knits, crews. Right, um, hey, we were gonna do that, right, yeah, so like. Heavy, heavy, heavyweight knits, so like, you right. know, right here with the crew sweatshirt, right. a lot of the tip pol like polos, so. Yeah, so you would say right now for this specific print theme, or like this clubhouse look, mm -hmm. it's it's very much a knit play. I think it's a knit play, yeah. for sure. You know, do, you, do you see it happening in bottoms? Maybe shorts? Um, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, no, I definitely think in shorts and maybe and having like a graphic hit on, yeah. on the bottom, kind of like a PE short. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, we could do something like that too. Not even like I mean, the like, shorts. See this little like yeah. Atherton? Like that yeah. would look cool if it was just on the corner right. of the. Or of the... even what you could do is like really like dip, like using this colorway, like mm -hmm. you know, even like our cotton twill, like sateen shorts, mm -hmm. you know how we're doing like AOPs on it? Yeah. Maybe we could try like hit prints on there, True. like have it look like super duper preppy, you know? Yeah. like. Something that Tom Brady would wear. Yeah, you, I mean, you could do little like ditzy racket ball. Right, right. Bad, bad yeah, mittens. you know what I mean. I think yeah. it'd be a cool conversational print or play, a little, or a little golf ball with a golf ball. Right, right. right. You know, I mean, it, it's something to think about. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um, were you able to find examples? Yeah, I found a couple examples. I know so. we're kind of previewing ahead, but still. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. you know, obviously, yeah. there's some brands that are kind of yeah. already ahead of it. And sure. This actually, this company, Rowing Blazers, is kind of their bread and butter. Is these very preppy. Yeah, collegiate correct. looking. Okay, so can can you actually go back up real quick? Yep. That spruce, that white, that navy. It's it's a clean color story. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like and and then you could throw your mauve in there. You, you throw, throw your sky you, blue. You you throw like you know like a cream color like and there you go. You have it right there. Like pastels. Yeah. Right, right. 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 Yeah. I mean. But here, saturated red. Yeah. But like, I mean, like I, you know, it's, I could right, see this right here at the tip. But I mean, right. <clears throat> so the one in here that I. So talking about using little tiny yeah, motifs. Yeah, look at that, look so at that conversation croquet, print. Yeah. croquet. Yeah, right, right, right. Look at that. Yeah. What do you know? That That's actually really cool. Uh, all right, let's keep going. They're using these kind of, I mean. Oh my God. It's kind of cool. Is it Jiminy Cricket? New York, Harry's New York Bar, you ever heard of that? No, I haven't. Yeah. No, that's great. Some, some, some so, and then now, wait, 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 let's go back to go back. Blazers. I, I, I kind of want to see the whole work, like keep scrolling. Mm -hmm. Let's kind of look through everything. Yeah, you see the tipping? Mm -hmm. The tipping with the embroidery. I think that's a marijuana it's, leaf on there too. Do you see like, um, do you see like, like small like, um, like embroideries and like small hits like this kind of coming back? I do. What do you think? It's like, it's a very preppy look, you know? We, we kind yeah. of, I mean, it's kind we of, touched it's, on this a little bit during um, uh, the Q3 like, line, line, remember? Yeah. We were talking about mm -hmm. it a little bit. I think there's something there. I think it adds a little perceived value. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. again, it's not, mm -hmm. some of the, most, a lot of these companies, they, that's like, they do it for their branding. Right. And obviously, right. we're not known for, like, do it for branding, but it adds that per, other, you know, that, that value on it that it's not just a plain silhouette. Do you like PK? I do. You do, right? I do like the okay. I kind of want to get back into that, bro. It's again, it kind of gives I, that. I know. Look, I, 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 I know. And, I know. <laughs> I know. All the buyers are like, no PK, but I'm like, I don't know, man. It's um, 
God, this look. What, what, what is the, what is the buyer's pushback on? I mean, I. Oh, you I, sold them. That's true. That's <laughs> yeah. true. I know. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, but histor- like, historically, why is it given, kind of put in a bad? T- is it just not perform well? No, look, man. I gotta be honest with you. Like that's a brand new thing. Like historically, we used to do a lot of PK. Yeah. We did a lot of PK and did well. Like it was a bitch for us because PK is expensive. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's the whole thing about PK is like PK is like because it uses a different type of knitting machine and it's like it's. It's expensive. Yeah. Like that's what it is. It's like, and that's kind of um, that was always like the hardest part about PK. But I remember even like uh, when Brian took over the company, it's like he w- he got a really good deal on the PK, and so we brought a bunch in, and like, dude, even at like a really good price, mm-hmm. all the buyers were like, eh, I don't know, and yeah. we were like, oh, that's ridiculous, but. You know what, now that this is kind of coming back in, I may or may not want to source some PK for uh, MB Essentials for next year. Okay, um, yeah. Like, I think a PK, I, I, I think a PK and a Johnny collar looks nice. Bro, I just think it'd be, I think it's it's stupid not to look for it. Yeah. You know, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, we even if we look, don't we should, cut we it. We should source it at least. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah gonna... just get started on it, you know, especially because this look has come back. All right, yep. let, let's move on to the next one. We're cool. spending too much time yeah, on Yeah, no worries. And then um, this is another website I found that more along the lines of kind of more the font, so you know, oh, right, very top, classic, classic, type, yeah, association, mm-hmm. club, right. And again, these are on knit, so yeah. like same with rowing blazers, right. I was on knit as right. well, so right. um, you know, just using the little tiny one hit, yeah, motifs. look at that, yeah, you see, you see it again, yep, kind of see it again, clean, but yeah. it just adds that little value to you it. You know, here's my thing, I know Westy is doing this, you think it's going to conflict too much if Westy does this, um, you know. I hear you. You see, kind of like that. Again, yeah, I guess it's jo- it's got to look a little more mensy. I guess mm-hmm. you know, like hmm, okay, kind of like old white American kind of feeling. When you think about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like, we'll call it preppy. Yeah, we'll call preppy. it preppy because it's like I don't want to be racist. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on to the next All right. capsule. All right, cool. So next capsule is called Refined Resort. Uh-huh. So expect vacations to return by spring, summer, 23. Yo, we were having the same fucking conversation last year at the start of the year. Yeah, I know. We'll, we take the hits as we <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> Vacation time. Deja Everyone's going to be Deja traveling Deja next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Okay, cool. So uh-huh. uh, with timeless and sun-drenched prints becoming essential for broader com- commercial appeal, capitalize on bold geometric checks with abstract motifs, opting for a stamped or hand-printed technique for a handcrafted feel. This literally feels like deja vu, man. Yeah, I know. Well, we talked about like the camp shirt. Right, and, right. Well, right. We, that was that was our trends talk talking about the kind of body style cuts that are going to be in, and yeah, right. we actually talked about it. Well, I mean, a, we could combine. Of, yeah, we could combine the two. Yeah. So, refined resort. When you think of refined resort, let's talk colors. Like, what are we talking here? We're talking like warmer colors, warmer right? Warmer colors, like typically warmer you know, colors. Your oranges. Yeah. Your kind of yellow. All of that. Um, also, a lot of. Tonal, tonal. Yeah, if we're gonna compare it to the, what was it, all-clusive, all-clusive? All clubhouse. Clubhouse, yeah. yeah. So when I think all-clusive clubhouse, I'm thinking like ditzies and like smaller size prints, mm-hmm. sharper angles, you know, like triangles and like, you know, like like way more like. Cleaner bodies. Yeah, yeah. clean, yeah. we're thinking clean. But here we're thinking like, like, you know, like warmer colors, mm-hmm. Larger prints, abstract, right? Softer shapes, basically, a lot more curves, you yep. know. And it's like boxy bodies. This is definitely a woven play, right? All wovens, all for wovens, sure. for sure. Yeah, right. I mean, I could, I mean, I could maybe see it in like a notch neck. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know, kind of like a notch. I think this kind is a, a great fashion. place to in- inject their notch neck. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I mean, I could see that. I mean, I could also see the notch neck in the previous line too. For sure. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Cool. Refined resorts. Okay. Yeah. So again, that camp collar is going to be very sure very big. For so, sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Got some cool. examples too. So yeah. uh, this company, Oaz Company, I've researched them a lot. They're sweet. They got yeah. some awesome shirts. Look at that. Like the the oversized geos or like the larger geos. Viscose. Okay. Mm-hmm. Viscose. So yeah, uh-huh. most most of their fabrications is viscose and French terry. Towel terry. Yeah. You know uh, David Lopez? Yeah. He fucking loves this towel terry, man. He keeps pitching it to me. Like, I love, dude, I love, we gotta I love, try it. I love towel terry. Yeah. Mean, look at it, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can, how you can yeah. add the texture on it by doing that. Yeah, like that's like a jacquard weave. But yeah. like, even like a towel terry, it's, look, honestly, we've sourced it. Mm-hmm. I just don't know, man. Like, I just don't see that being a big volume business, you know? Like, 
But I mean, I love all these prints. Yeah. I love all these prints. Oh, wait, sorry. Let's go back up real quick. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I just want to see like the colors that you like. You could kind of see here. All right. So yeah, it's like mostly warm colors. Some yellows. Warm. That's a, that's that's a lot of color. Yeah. You know. Okay. So I mean, this is kind of where like the royal blue plays. I guess. You know, your like olive. Olive. You know, even more. more I, I would I would yeah. say more of the natural colors, like yeah. more earthy tones. Yeah, I would say that too. Orange. You know, using some ombre. Yeah. Um, and then also kind of yeah. incorporating some of these lighter greens. Can we load more? Yeah, yeah, let's load more. I want to see more of this. This cream color keeps popping up. I love how every year people try to make yellow happen, like it's gonna go somewhere. Well, I I think yellow kind of has like a nostalgic you, feel to it. Do so. you own a yellow shirt? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I've never seen you wear yellow ever. It's 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 like a party shirt. Do you own a yellow shirt? Yeah, because the ducks. Like for I feel like for Oregon, it's kind of a a, a color you wear. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because that's like yeah, like I said, U of O's colors. Goat. No, isn't the U of O like? It's, it's green. And yellow. Yeah, it's like green and yellow, right? It's yeah. a very it's a in your face green and yellow. But, yeah. It's very, loud. It's loud. Yeah. Loud yellow. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have a Coors a Coors yellow. Sh a yellow shirt. It's kind of like a sun faded. Yeah, of course. It's, it's like, cool. Yeah, yeah, like the bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the ducks. I gotta say that their football jerseys are lit with like the. They're always so sick. They're yeah, so they sick. They have. Yeah. I mean, I will say, a tangent. The numbers are too big. If they make it smaller, it'd be better. But you know, I'm not the designer, so. I just like their shoulders, man. I mean, like with the feathers. The feather, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. They got they got so big dope, dope variations. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. So, All right. Yeah. So this is uh, Oaz, and then. Oh, look at that animal print. That's Terry too. I did. I want to keep trying that shit until it works, man. I, yeah. I mean, weird. yeah. I mean, like, I, I just like I saw it. Saw a lot of it today out in stores. Sunrise Kingdom had like yeah, six. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I really feel like that was a trend we just missed completely. You yeah. know, with, yeah. within I mean, our company. I, I think. I mean, like, I think that this year it's going to be huge, especially with like Coachella going off. Like that's dude, a, that's like I feel like animal prints and like that abstract, just yeah. wacky stuff. We, we missed the boat completely. We have no animal prints, you know? And it's like, like we got we have we have some good Yeah, I know, I know we have other, other shit, but like yeah, I, I, I know we do, and... but it's just like it just it just bothers me. I hate it when we miss something so completely, you know? All right. Cool. All and right. then I found another uh-huh. Another one, really one of my favorite brands, yeah. but they really delve into like the camp yeah, collar sure. again, but it's going to be a big big yeah. woven play. Right, right. You know, I just want to see, like, you know, these companies that are doing this kind of look. I mm -hmm. wonder what kind of uh, knits they have. Um, you know, let's keep scrolling. Little, little let's scroll knits. through this first and kind of see. Like, I, I see, a, I saw a Paisley in there. Okay, Paisley. Yeah, they're, could going work hard, here. they're going hard on the Paisley. Yeah, let, let's look at the knits. Yeah, I want to see it. Sweaters. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, that's not. I actually good. love that. That's sick. Go thing. to t-shirts. Sorry, go to t-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be better. Here we go again with these damn hip prints. It's, you know? Screen tees, man. Screen yeah, tees screen is tees. the name of the game. They, yeah, have, they like, have their essential. Yeah, yeah. Screen tees is such a like, or it's like solids, you know. Yeah, they do a lot of they do a lot of solid with embroidery with like. Yeah, and then, you know, like I, you know, this is kind of why like some rib some yeah. rib crews. And this is kind of why like I'm thinking right now too is like for us it's going forward next year we need to skew our knit by a lot close a lot further into MB essentials mm -hmm. and way less MBX. That's honestly what I'm thinking because it's like we have this giant fabric library we could try different fabrics, and like um, that's where we can push the envelope. It's and in I'm doing and I'm I already developed this this type of garment dye look, you know, this cosmic vintage tea. Mm -hmm. I think I showed it to you guys, remember downstairs, yeah. like the, the 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 pigment dye? Yeah. Remember I showed it to you guys, and you saw it for the first time, and you were like, holy shit, this is really cool. Yeah. And then Claudia saw it, she was like, oh my god, are we gonna do this again? Well, she has PTSD. Yeah, I know she does. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so it's like, but no, I'm, 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 I'm gonna fucking do it, so, yeah. It's not orange. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so. let's keep going. All right, and on last All right. capsule. Uh huh. Cool. So, last capsule is Desert Rider. Okay. So, as a great outdoors theme continues to be a key trend, invest in down to earth, rough, and dry textures to embrace the summer heat. Reimagine the softened classic camo with painterly textures and botanical motifs. Invest in desert inspired sketch motifs and a ancient carving elements for jerseys, think cactus, sun rocks. Um, use natural dyes for an organic sun drenched feel that boasts sustainability. That's what I'm saying. Same thing again, like nat natural dyes. Natural dyes. You know, um, sun drenched feel. Okay, like, you know that fourth picture that you have there? Like, can you this put guy? your cursor? Yeah, that guy. Put your cursor. No, not not the camo. The one next to it. 
This one. Yeah, that guy here. I think that's interesting. Mm -hmm. One color, like basically like, what is it called? Sketch motifs. Yeah, it kind of looks like cave paintings. Yeah, yeah, you know that whole look? Mm -hmm. It's, um, I know like um, for the market right now, Aztec is kind of slowing down yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's like the evolution of it. Kind of. Like, yeah. A little bit more sim, like it's simplified a lot more. You know, it's it looks it looks like original artwork doodling kind. Right, of, right. But it has that right artist, I, artisan feel to it. Yeah, like what I, like what I'm hoping we see is a lot more conversational prints done in this kind of motif style. Mm -hmm. I think that would be something interesting. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, and it's um, believe it or not, that shit's hard to design, man. It doesn't look hard, but it it it's hard. Well, to, I would to imagine make it look it, good. To look, and then also to execute it on a print as well. Right, it's, right. It's, it, yeah. it's a lot difficult than having right. straight lines yeah. and I mean, being the, it more symmetrical. Right, and like the cool thing about that, like, like it's it might be easier to pick out colors because it's like a single color print mm -hmm. with like I'll just like on like a like a good warm. I, I want to use a key word here for it, but it's like. Yeah, just like just like a warm, like you know, toned down color. Mm -hmm. Sun drenched. Yeah, yeah, right. Sun drenched. Yeah, on like a sun drenched color tone. But like it's um, the actual artwork itself would be a difficult execution there. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Um, can I see the? Yeah. So one of the examples I found, it was very difficult. I mean, just again because yeah. this trend is coming. Yes. But this, okay. this they found this. Found so this awesome. So here's the deal with this guy. Um, I mean, fleece. This is going to be very difficult. But yeah. like like I said, this is. Here it is again, garment dye with um, placement hit prints. Uh -huh. You know, that's what this is right here in a nutshell, you know? Let me click on one. Just a little, let me click on it. Sure, is that your favorite one? Yeah. I just clicked on it. Okay. Hmm. Is there patches on there too? Huh, That, that lo this looks like patches. Yeah, it could be patchwork. That looks like patches. This looks like mm. either it's either embroidered or printed on. Yeah. They kind of have like this raw hemming too as well. Yeah, so we could do like the raw the raw edge. It's actually not that hard to do. Mm -hmm. um, like it's actually really easy. You know, like how you do it is like you see like a set in like this. Yeah. You do it with self. You just cut it. Yeah. And then you wash it, and then it frays it, it out. Frays, yeah. Yeah. yeah it naturally, kind of doesn't. Look yeah, it's kinda. um like like raw like raw hems. We we did a shit ton of raw hems back when we would do all this pigment dye work. Mm -hmm. We did. Um, didn't do too hot for us. Yeah. I mean, it did sort of, but not really. Um, the reason why it was difficult doing all like the raw hem shit is because um, we sell to the value channel, and then when they see like raw edge in the value channel, yeah. it's like it, it's one thing if you're walking into a fucking Barney's and you see it, but yeah. you walk into a Ross and you see raw. It head. looks cheap. Right. Yeah, it comes right. off as like, oh, you guys didn't execute that. Right. right. You, did, so right. you fucked up something wrong. It's right. Like, right. So it's kind of like I prefer to keep it clean or like even like a banded hem. I don't know. I'll let the designer kind of figure that out. But, I, um, I think yeah. it's a, I think it's a little too fashion forward for the right. for the value channel where raw right. raw. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's a very contemporary and, clean look. It's sure. just like I don't I don't know what it's gonna look like mm -hmm. laying with you know a bunch of other clothes you know I, that I aren't related. Yeah. But um, yeah, but like. I mean, the one takeaway from this right now um, is we got to get into the garment dice stat. Yeah, yeah. I, well, we're starting to d develop it with our with our denim and. Oh no! I mean, I, I want to do it for our knits. knits. Yeah, yeah. I want to do it for our knits. Oh, okay, let's go back to the the homepage. Yeah. Let's let's go let's um, go over this again. No, de desert. Oh, is there more? No, that was okay. it. This the three oh, capsules. So desert rider. No, no. Yeah. Let's go back Sorry. to desert rider. Yep. What categories do you see this look in? I see wovens mostly. I see. Well, I also see knits though as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think well, it's. Uh, I think it's both play. It's a little. I also see. Both. Yeah, I see. It, very see dusty colorway. Heavyweight. Heavyweight yeah. knits as well. Yeah. Very dusty color story. Very dusty. Yeah. Very dusty. Um, kind of same with the same yeah. earthy tones right. again, making it right. embracing the outdoors. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, this is going to be like our out, out, like outdoorsy. Like this is pretty much the continuation of Vivid Adventures. For sure. Cool. Right. Yeah. So it went from Big Sur to Vivid Ventures. Well, it first went to Outdoor Escape, to Big Sur, to Vivid Ventures, now to whatever this is going to be called. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Uh, let's go up right here. Refine Resort. This is our continuation of Little Havana. Yep. It started with India Isles, then to Little Havana, mm -hmm. and then now we're, we're, we're going to continue growing that group. Okay, cool. Correct. Let's go up. All Inclusive Clubhouse. This is basically going to be a continuation of our um, mod squad. I was going to say mod squad for sure. Yeah, preppy, That's what it is. collegiate yeah. look. Right. So. One thing that isn't here that I want to continue doing, uh, um, and the reason why I want to continue that too is even though you, you didn't find any prints and graphics for it, mm -hmm. there was a huge retro push coming from the colors. Yep. 
You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so I think we need I, I think we need to hit that retro look as well. For, I mean, I feel I feel like the refined resort kind of yeah, kind but it's softer, dose. man. Like, no, I, yeah, like, I get it. You get what I'm talking. Like, yeah. I'm talking about like, do you see like, remember that colorway you showed of like that fire red, the teal, and like the yeah. gold? Mm -hmm. Those aren't those colors. No, you're you know right. what I mean. And it's not even the top colors there too. There's mm -hmm. something in between, you know, mm -hmm. like the Bruno Mars look. You know, yeah, that's not a refined resort look. That's you know, true. it's like it's somewhere in between these two. You know, it's like this kind of aesthetic with this type of colorway. You mm -hmm. know, um, like that whole thing. It's like. Like think like seventies disco, like you were saying. Yeah, it doesn't really fit into either. During that hedonistic, right? The field. hedonistic colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, you know, I mean, like that's probably I, I don't know. Like I, I want to see what Debbie comes up with, but like that's something that I'm really looking at right now, mm -hmm. where it's just like, if we could tie down these four groups, yeah. I think we're gonna be covered for one and two. Yeah, you I get what I'm saying. I, I think I think we could cover both, yeah. like with with those four groups, and I think that's rock solid. I, I think agree. like it's, I agree. we're gonna do a lot of volume. With, yeah, it covers a huge, a big gamut right. of all yeah life, and, lifestyles if who wants. So. And it will cover all the colors. We'll hit every single color story. Like mm -hmm. we could do the pastels here. Yep. We could do the dusty and the um that way down in the bottom. Whatever this is. Yep. Yeah. Whatever that is. The retro will be like the louder saturated colors. This is gonna be like the softer natural colors. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then the core colors, we could just, we just could, we could have like a representation of all the core colors within all of these colors. All capitals, yeah. I you agree. know? Okay, cool. You know what? I got, like, you know, it's, um, it's nice. After these two, like, I have a pretty good idea of like, what to expect, I guess. Yeah. Which is cool. So I got to all look it up. All right, cool. Um, it and, for, anything it, else to add? No, it for me. Like, looking Very forward good. to, uh, all right. Dan's presentation as well to see what yeah. we got and see if it's kind of aligned. All right, cool. Sweet. All right, let's wrap it up. Catch you next Later. time. Later. <laughs>